Welcome to Zagreb here from uh, the monument for uh, the independence and for the war, the victory and the liberation war. And I know it's very controversial. I got some pushback now on Twitter, but what I want to say is very clear. We have to honor Franjo Tuchman for his achievement as the liberator of Croatia. And he has deserved that. Yeah? He has liberated his country and it was the right thing to do. And he has, of course, huge contribution to the independence, to uh, the victory and to the freedom of Croatia. Uh, Croatia. And it's now the moment, you know, here in 2022, when we can assess this is the completion of the Western integration, Schengen, Euro, OECD, visa waiver access uh, to America. This is all very huge things. It took a long time. We are now 30 years after independence, 32 years after independence, or 31 years, uh, 32. And it is a big achievement. Yeah? And he has deserved a museum and all the respect. But obviously also his Bosnian policy is a complete disaster. It was one in Bosnia, in disaster in 92, 93. He has ordered a lot of crimes. Huh? So it's a mixed uh, legacy. But we must be able this mixed uh, uh, legacy to divide it in two pieces. His achievements for Croatia must be honored. He's a big uh, hero of European dimension. But of course what he did against Bosnia must not be continued. And the biggest problem is that Croatia is now continuing this failed policy in, uh, Croatia, in Bosnia. And that's very bad. No to any tribal policy in Bosnia. We need to have a Bosnia in NATO, in the Euro, in Schengen, in OECD, in the EU. This is the way forward. Yeah? It's one country, there's different nations. It's a complicated country like Austria, like Macedonia, like Belgium, like Spain. <laughs> we have um, really many complicated countries, only complicated countries in Europe. And now the idea is to be a bit um, decent on the side of Croatia. Of course, you know, to overcome the tragic uh, parts of the past is absolutely an obligation for any human being and any state in Europe. Yeah? Of course, you know, all the crimes also during the Second World War, they must be commemorated in a European fashion and manner. And obviously all things which went wrong in Bosnia in, uh, during the Bosnian War must be commemorated as well. There must be also a museum for that. There must be also clarity on that one. But Franjo Tuchman, for his achievement to build independent and free Croatia, must be honored. And then, of course, must be explained what he did wrong. And under American tutelage and guidance, he got into the right way again. And he stopped his uh, criminal activities in Bosnia. But nevertheless, he is a hero for freedom, for Europe and for European Croatia. And such complexities, you know, they are part of reality. Yeah? Nobody is one dimensional. Nobody, especially in politics, is one dimensional. But uh, we always supported him, Alois Mock, yeah? and also in the beginning Wolfgang Schüssel. Yeah? That's another topic. I will discuss a lot about it. Austrian politics, for example, was very good for the Balkans under Mock and Busek. And it moved then during the first Schüssel mandates as well. But later he moved uh, towards Russia. And that was, of course, a big mistake. And so it's not so easy to uh, say one thing and this is it. Yeah? You have to see different aspects. So Franjo Tuchman definitely has deserved a museum, but also his Bosnian policy must be in a museum. And uh, that uh, now there is this big competition between President Mijanovic and, and Plenkovic, the prime minister, who is the more nationalist in Bosnia, is the wrong way to commemorate and to keep the legacy of uh, Mr. Tuchman high. It must be a museum, he must be honored for his achievement for Croatia, but of course his uh, tragic failures in Bosnia before the Washington Agreement must be commemorated as well. And that's uh, simply the complex legacy of all uh, the Balkan wars. Yeah? We have to be clear and we have and the capacity, <laughs> you know, if we cannot do it, let's get an American professor in here yeah? and let's uh, be with the facts. And obviously, you know, every of the European leaders in post-Cold War history and also in the Cold War has a lot of pluses and a lot of minuses. But this is the way. And freedom has been achieved in Croatia under complicated circumstances and it's now there. And the Western integration has um, been now completed with the 1st of January 2023. 
of course, much work to, needs to be done to be a very prosperous and uh, beautiful and amazing country and to overcome all the tragic um, legacies of the past. But it needs also a decent commemoration uh, culture and a clear narrative. And that includes, obviously, an absolute yes uh, to Tuchman's legacy for the freedom of Croatia and the absolute no to his tra tragic legacy in Bosnia. And such complicated legacies are the part of all countries of Europe and we have to decently and in an adult manner to understand the facts, history and not to be Russia or Serbia dominating our narratives and uh, distorting the narratives and that is very important. I do that every year when it's also about Oluya, about the liberation of the Krajina and the victory in the liberation war. There's also always a lot of wrong uh, narratives out there and we must definitely make a clarity that this was a war of liberation and uh, there was no genocide on that one. The genocide happened in Akinci and before the uh, Washington Agreement by Croatian forces, also in Mostar and in many places. And the genocide happened in Srebrenica by the Serb forces as a response to the loss of the war and uh, to uh, their effort uh, to do complete ethnic cleansing of Eastern Bosnia, which they have uh, started already in 91 and they continued until uh, July and August uh, 95, until they were stopped with Western firepower and American airplanes. And that is exactly how we should see the world because it's exactly how it was. And this is exactly what also needs to be done in Ukraine to liberate Ukraine with help of Western power and uh, air power, sea power, land power, and to liberate all countries from Russian or Serbian genocide. One day Serbia will also see the world like this and move to the West, but until then it must be isolated. So, honor the heroes uh, by the narrative as I explained it here now and let's also build a monument and a museum for Franjo Tuchman. Thanks a lot. Bye.